Hello, stampers. Hang on while I plug in my phone. It says my battery is low. Welcome. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Hello, Kelly. You're the first one on tonight. Lee, you're, you're a close second with Ellen coming in third. <laughs> I'm so happy to be with you guys tonight. It seems like it's been forever, doesn't it? Like we had Thanksgiving and deer hunting season and all the things and <laughs> I've been gone. Let me grab my iPad here. I'm going to get you guys up on this maybe if I can figure that out. You know I'm not an iPad person, right? Yeah, so let's see if I can find my live. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Huh. Let's see. I'll go in here and then I'm going to try again because it's not refreshing my screen and I there we are. Yay! Okay. Hang on. Again I gotta do some volume things. I... Yay, no volume. Woohoo! Hi Marie from Texas. Kathy Sheely, Roxanne's house is on. We've got Yvette. Donna is here. Hi, Donna Johns. I am happy to see you, too. So, I'm going to get my comments coming in. There we go. This just is so much easier for me to pay attention to what's going on. Do you guys like my new crown? <laughs> I am going to go through my mail at the end, but I got this from Linda. Hang on, Linda. I got this crown in the mail from Linda Elmore. And she sent me a really cute little note and this adorable little snowflake crown. I love it. It's actually more comfortable than my regular crown that I wear because the regular crown goes like this and it like has those little pokey things. This fits just like a little headband and I love it. <laughs> and Ellen said you have a new room. I do have a new room, and you guys, I'm super excited to tell you that my room is finished, but it's empty. <laughs> I haven't moved in yet, and you know, that's one of those things that you have to have time to move in, and I, even though I haven't been on live, I have been so stinking busy. It is crazy time for Stampin' Up! demonstrators all over the world. We just got a new pre-order. We get to order early out of the mini catalog. The new one coming for spring and um, we are, I'm signed up for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve swaps. So while everybody's doing Christmas and getting ready for Christmas and baking cookies and candy and shopping and decorating. I'm like losing my mind here. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it if I was losing my mind, but I have a whole bunch of swap cards coming up. Hi, Haley. Hi, Karen. Thank you guys so much. This crown is awesome. And Snow Princess, Terry, I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I was off last week because I was at my mom's house and um, I just did not want to be rushing around and stressing over getting home to figure out what I was going to make because you guys know I don't work ahead really good, right? <laughs> so anyways, I haven't seen you since before Thanksgiving, but we had a wonderful time. And can I just say that I slept and I slept and I slept some more. I was sleeping 12 hours a night. <laughs> One day I took a five hour nap. Is that a nap? I don't think so, but I'm calling it a nap. So anyways, I got a lot of sleep. I got my batteries recharged. I um, spent most of my time with Val. She was there all week and Haley. And um, I got to snuggle and cuddle and play and roll around on the floor and feed her. And we just had so much fun. So it was really nice. And yes, um, Wendy is asking if I fully shaken COVID, and I have. I have not had any weirdo things going on for the last several weeks, probably two to three weeks. So, whew, 
glad. I'm glad that's over, right? Um, Terry, we yeah, Terry's talking about we have a close a blowout sale coming on Tuesday. So I was just before I came on live, I was just working on a blog post that I'm probably gonna post tomorrow. We've got some questions about the list that Stampin' Up gave to us for this sale. There's a sale list. Then there's a list telling what's going to carry over into the annual catalog. And then there's another list that I think is telling us what is going to go dormant until the next mini catalog comes out. But we don't understand the list. They're not very clear um, from Stampin' Up. So I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow morning when I can talk to somebody there to make sure I don't give you misinformation because I hate retracting things. <laughs> like, do you do that where you like tell somebody something and then find out it was wrong and then you kind of feel like an idiot? Yeah, I don't like that feeling at all. And I wanna make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. So um, I'm going to be posting that list probably tomorrow after I talk to Stampin' Up. There's three lists. And so just know we have a big sale coming on Tuesday, up to 50% off on some things in the holiday mini catalog. I'm super excited about it. Um, there's still some things that I would like to pick up. And I um, order stuff for my team a lot for um, prizes from our team meetings. So maybe I'll pick up some things from there that they might enjoy. But um, everybody loves a sale, right? And did you know that when you join my team as a discount shopper, if something is 50% off, you get the 50% off, and then you get an additional 20, minimum 20% 20 off that sale price. So there are big benefits to joining the team. Plus you get to come to my team meetings, which are all virtual. And I have a Christmas party coming up on, I think, December 15th for my team, and we have all kinds of fun planned. We've got an um, ugly sweater contest. We've got some word searches, some word scrambles. We're going to play live bingo on Zoom. Um, I'm going to be stamping some projects out of the new spring mini catalog with brand new product, and I'm super duper excited about it. It's going to be so much fun. So. Um, if you have ever thought about joining as a discount shopper, you don't have to do what I do here, but you can certainly join as a discount shopper, get a discount on all your product. You can actually fill up your kit with um, spring mini catalog product. So right now, let me see if I can find my little brochures. I've got so much stuff laying around here. Here's the new spring mini catalog. I know it's backwards, but we're not going to mess with that because my Facebook Live never works right after that. So there's the new Spring Mini Catalog. Celebration is right around the corner. I just want to remind you guys that um, you will, you can use the Spring Mini Catalog to fill up your kit. You get to choose $125 in any product that you want for $99 and you get free shipping. And then you get a 20% discount on everything going forward. So, um... Yeah, that'd be a nice discount to have for those sale items. Anywho, I have some updates to give you guys. So while I was up north, Steve was home most of the week. And so he had to contact me to give me a John update. <laughs> so I get this text message from him. And he says, John's work truck was parked on the street all night. Like, that's our big news. <laughs> I hope you're not too disappointed. <laughs> and then his next update to me is that John usually parks his work truck close to our driveway and then his wife parks next to him close to their house. It was switched. It was switched for several days. Steve does not know what was going on. We do not know. <laughs> so silly. But he had to text me about that, right? <laughs> It was pretty funny. So, um, I've had, let's see. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, and by the way, um, I didn't get a deer. So, they don't have a lot to worry about where I'm concerned. But um, I did get to have some really good time with my, with, my, um, with my mom and my sister and her kids and Haley and baby Val. And Steve came back up because he had some deer to cut up. Haley was the big winner this year, and my mom. So, um, yeah, we have a full freezer now, so that's good. And what else is happening? Oh, if anybody's trying to 
If anybody's trying to um, order any of my online classes or any of the kit classes that I have right now and you're running into problems, just hang tight. Oh my lord, it's always something, right? Um, PayPal has restricted my account. They're letting me spend money out of it, but they won't let me invoice anybody and I don't know if anybody's actually able to order anything so that they would pay me for something. But my my account is restricted right now. I'll be getting in touch with them tomorrow morning. But um, it's all about a name thing. Like, I have a hyphenated name. And you guys know me as Kelly Atchison, but my name is actually hyphenated. And so the IRS notified PayPal that my name did not appear the same on the PayPal account as it does with the IRS. So PayPal sent me a request asking for me to fill out a W-9 to clarify what was happening there. And I printed it, and I signed it, and I emailed it back to them four times four. And I also mailed it in the snail mail to them twice because I keep getting these notifications that my account is jacked up. And um, they said as of December 3rd that I accounts would be restricted. And by golly, they are. <laughs> and I don't know what's going on because I have provided them with this information so many times. So anyways, if you're running into any trouble there, just hang tight. I'm going to get it fixed tomorrow. Stuff like this makes me crazy, right? Because it just seems like it's always just something. So this is the one that's going to make me nuts. Um, oh, I also wanted to let you guys know, on the um, retirement list, it's going to list some of the items that aren't actually retiring. They're just unbundling them. And this is always very confusing every year. If you have a bundle, like let's say the have a hoot and the hoot dies or whatever they're called. If you have a bundle... If they're going to put it into the next catalog, they will unbundle it. So if you buy the dies, they have to be separate from the stamp set. You don't get that 10% discount. So they will list it as retiring because that bundle number is retiring. But don't get, don't let yourself be confused by that. It's always very confusing. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that. So anyways, today <clears throat> I was up in my new studio, which is right up there. And I was on my hands and knees with a bucket of hot water with pine salt in it. And I was scrubbing the floor. Not scrubbing. I just wiped it off because there was a lot of drywall dust and stuff. And the room smells funny. Like new room smell. I don't care for it. <laughs> when I painted this room, it smelled like pickles. That was okay. But um, so I was on my hands and knees scrubbing. Not scrubbing. Washing the floor off. Just washing it not scrubbing. And I washed the windows because they were pretty yucky looking too. And I, the only thing that's in the room right now, I, I hauled my great big giant paper cutter. I didn't haul it. Let's be clear about that. I asked my handyman who did my construction. I said, as long as you have a helper here, could you help me? Could you guys grab this paper cutter and take it up to my room? And he's like, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> it was kind of mean of me because that paper cutter is really really heavy so those two guys struggled getting that up the stairs and in my room and I felt really bad but he said it was no problem so anyways my giant paper cutters up there and I bought a huge shelving unit for the closet and that's laying in a box up there and Steve was kind of mad because I helped him bring it in um, when I got home from the store and he was kind of mad at me because it was really really heavy and I don't know if I'm going to need to take it back. Maybe it's too much. Too much, like too big, too heavy. I don't need anything that heavy. I don't know. But I, he was kind of, was kind of cranky. Not going to lie. Yeah, so I did one of these. Why you got to act like that? <laughs> do you guys do that? <laughs> it was funny. Anyways. Um, and blinds. I got two blinds, just like this one. Two blinds for my windows. So, um... <laughs> Who just said they love the new room smell? It's not like new car smell. It's weird. It's not a good smell. <laughs> so anyways, um, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. I think that's all I got. Um, I have some fabulous mail to share with you. And I was going to share this. I forgot to share this. I had to share this. Isn't this just adorable? My friend Barb had these for me and Dina when we went out to Wyoming. And just a little gift box. 
Here's a little Wyoming magnet. And then we've got a decal. And wait for it. Some socks. I love Wyoming socks. Aren't these cute? Yeah. So, um, oh, hang on. And Wyoming pen. <laughs> I forgot to show this to you guys when I got back. So I wanted to do that before I dismantled this and uh, put it all in places where I'll be using it, right? Okay. Um, let's see. What else can I show you? Oh, I know. I wanted to show you this. Did you guys, have you guys seen the bag? This crazy, beautiful, amazing, this is like the softest leather bag ever. I got my pins from Stampin' Up. These were all decorated up really cute. This is my Global 100 gift. So everyone that um, ranked in the top 100 in the world got these. The boxes had these pins in them. There was a little problem with my bag because it actually wasn't mine. It was supposed to go to somebody else. So I'm supposed to have two more pins here. But um, Stampin' Up! is going to send them. The bag is fine. Everybody got the same bag. And then look at this beast. This is a Minky Couture, Minky Couture blanket. And I haven't even opened it yet, you guys. Oh, my good Lord. Oh, it's got the Stampin' Up! label on it, and oh my lord, this is going to be my new favorite. <laughs> so yeah, I love my company. I love how well they take care of us. Um, all this stuff, let me get this out of the way, it's going to make a lot of noise. All this stuff is just so much fun, and I love being appreciated for my hard work from my company, right? Isn't this beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, very cool. So, I thought I'd share that with you. Hang on, I'm going to put it over there. I've got a whole bunch of stuff over here on the floor because we are going to have a blast tonight. Um, I've got some gift ideas to share with you, and I hope you love them as much as I love them and love making them because they're super, super fun. And um, along with my gift ideas, I am always, I'm always making matching cards because that's just, I mean, that's just what we should do, right? So I had to run to Walgreens, get some pictures printed out because these can include pictures or they don't have to, but I'm going to show you some really neat ideas on using your paper crafts to make a gift and cards. So if you don't like making other things than cards, I don't understand, but it's fine, right? Everybody has their own thing, but I'll also be sharing some cards with you tonight. So I think we're ready to flip around. Are we ready to flip? I think we're ready. Hi, Kim from Maine. Welcome. By the way, you guys, um, if I don't, you know, there's a whole bunch of people that come on and I don't know, I can't always see everybody's names. I just want you to know that and I, I try really hard, but these names scroll through so, so fast and I've only got about this much space where it's actually showing up. So I see Cindy just shared. Thank you so much. So it just depends on whether I'm looking at the words or you know, watching the things scroll through or I'm doing stuff that I can't acknowledge everyone, but just know that I'm glad you're here watching. Okay, are we ready to stamp? I think we are. Okay, um, I think I'll get my little bin up here. See what I'm going to do first. Hang on a second. Oh, I know. Oh, we need to do prizes. Yes, we do. Oh, hang on. Things are getting mixed up here. We need to do some prizes first. So, first of all, um, this is the share. This is the essential everything. Okay, here we go. Ready? So, there's three ways to win. If you comment, you'll get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. If you share this video, you can click on that share button right now. So click on that share button, help a sister out. Sharing is caring. Share this video right now. It'll go right to your personal profile and you never know who you're friends with that might enjoy watching a crafting video, right? And then the third way is by placing an order with me. So comment, share, order, yay. Oh, I see Kate is here. <laughs> um, so, first of all, for commenting on my last Facebook Live, I have some of these beautiful little deals. These are 
called Glitter Star Ornaments. Hang on. I've used these in some projects that I've made already. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. I got two of them. Look at how pretty they are. Oops. Actually, three. Math is hard. <laughs> Look at how they're, they're all silver and sparkly. I absolutely love them. There's a whole little packet of them here. I am going to give them away with a roll of our Snowflake Splendor. It's like iridescent opalescent ribbon. That's for commenting from last time. And my winner is Diana Frieden Mahar, M-A-H-A-R, and she is from Beaverton, Oregon. So, Diana, these are gonna be on their way to you, but you have to give me your address because I do not have it, okay? So, oh, and that reminds me, hang tight for just a second because there was somebody who still has not claimed their prize and now I've lost it. Oh, here it is, right here. Margaret Day. Margaret Day contacted me and said, did you get my email with my address? Nope, I have never gotten an email from you with your address. So, giving this three more days, if you want your prize from a couple weeks ago, please email me your address. And my email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stamp above com. Okay? So I've got that right there. Then um, I'm going to do Diana right up here. I don't want to lose anything. Next up, I have, for sharing from last time, I have some of these Wonder of the Season Memories and More card pack. These are so much fun. Whether you're a scrapbooker or a stamper, you can do, you can make cards with them. You can do all kinds of stuff. I've also got a package of red ribbon that I'm going to put along with this. My winner is Kelly Guy of Macon, Georgia. And Kelly, I also need your address. And thank you so much to everybody who shared my video last time. Let me set that right up there. Last but not least, we have our ordering winner. And I've got this Everything Essential stamp set. This has Halloween, Fall, Christmas, and Valentine's Day in it. Maybe not fall, but pumpkins are fallish. Um, and this was for placing an order. I've also got some red satin ribbon that I thought would go along good for the holidays, right? And Valentine's Day. Woohoo! And the winner for placing an order is Nancy Delavo, D E L V A U X. Nancy's from Green Bay, Wisconsin. And thank you so much for everybody who placed orders. Okay, I will be getting Nancy's gift out tomorrow. And the others, I need your address so I can get those out in the mail fairly quickly, too. So let me put this little bag back up here. Okay, now I think we're ready to stamp. What does this say? This is my Inky Couture Air Tumble, Air Tumble, or Air Dry. Ooh, I can't dry that. That's good to know because I kind of throw everything in the... I shouldn't say I don't really throw everything in the dryer. Most of my shirts, I hang up because I hate it when things shrink. Okay, now we're ready to start stamping. Okay, so what am I gonna do first? I'm not gonna do that one first, but, oh, here we go, here we go. Hang tight, ooh, I love this. All right, we'll do this one first, and then we will do this one next, ooh, and this one, fun. It's just like Christmas in here. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm gonna, it's gonna be loud for a second. Sorry, I had to throw that bag away. Okay, here we go. So, I'm gonna flip the camera around so that you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll let you know when you can open them. I'll adjust my lighting here. Hang on a second. I'm really excited about my new room because I got I have six can lights in the ceiling, and I'm really curious to see how wonderful that's gonna be to have good lighting, right? Can't hardly wait. Okay, this is my piercing mat. I just like to use this to stamp on. It's a great firm, but yet a little bit of give. 
surface to stamp on. And what I'm going to be showing you tonight are some um, um, sampler elements, okay? And here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to make a few of these for you, and then I've got a whole bunch of them I can show you that are already made up. And then I'm going to show you how to put it together, and then I've got some matching cards to share with you. So, what you do is, oh, hang on a second. You get yourself a frame. This is the frame that I have, and I believe I purchased this last year. And I believe this is from Michael's, but I'm not sure. I ordered it online. It's a 9x9 nine nine shadow box, and it's studio decor. So like I said, I'm not really sure, but I think I got it from Michael's. I just went online and ordered it. This is a really nice little shadow box, right? It's got a black frame. They've got some with white frames. They've got some with wood tone frames. But I'm going to set this aside. Hang on. I don't want this to break. And... Then we're going to make some little elements for it because one of the things I love to do is to make gifts for Christmas. And I'm just, my Anna, my sweet Anna, my stepdaughter Anna, she told me last year that her most favorite gift, or I should say her most favorite Christmas decorations are all the paper craft framed things that I have made for her over the years. And she displays them proudly every year. And that touched me. Like, I was like, really? That's so cool. So she's like, please make sure that you always give me one of those every year. So I was like, oh, you bet I will, right? <laughs> so what I've got here is this is 2 and 5 eighths by 2 and 5 eighths. And again, I've got a 9 by 9 frame that I'm using. So these are the sizes. Oh, and let me back up a little bit. Um, one of my team members, Jody Peterson, actually hosted a swap where we each made, um, we designed one little sampler um, element. And then, like, for example, I made nine of mine and mailed it off to nine different people. And then they all mailed theirs to me. So I ended up with nine different squares. So there were some rules involved. One of the rules is the size of these two layers. Everybody had to use red, two and five eighths by two and five eighths, and then everybody had to have a white layer. And what that ensures for a swap is just that everything is gonna match nicely, right? So if everybody used all different colors for the base layers, I don't, I think you'd have a hodgepodge of a mess. That's what I think. But, so, oh, and Terry, I see Terry's on here. She was in the swap also. So what I did here is I took this white layer and I ran it through the wrapped in texture um, embossing folder, okay? And oh, that reminds me. Have you guys seen the new Little Boss? This is what we're calling this adorable little machine. Mine just came. You know, we've got the stamp and emboss and a cut, cutting machine. And we're calling that the Big Boss. And now this is a little mini machine. And it fits all of your dies that'll fit in here, plus these small embossing folders fit in here. Now with this machine, you get all of the plates you need to use it. You don't have to buy anything extra. This will be available, I believe, January 1st or 5th. I'm not sure if it's when the mini catalog, new spring mini catalog starts, or January 1st. This little machine is going to be available, but... um. Yeah, super cute, right? And I like that it's so little because it can sit right on your desk. You don't have to um, move it out of the way or go someplace else to die, cut, or emboss if you're using some of the smaller elements. So it's pretty cool. So watch for that. That'll be coming soon. We've been waiting a long time for it. Okay, here we go. Back to our project. Sorry, squirrel. Okay, so then what I did is I took some granny apple green and I die cut the trees from the, um, in the pines dies. They're called pine wood dies. Where are those? They're here somewhere. I don't know what I did with them. Um, here we go. These wonderful dies. Now remember, in the pines is a, is a bundle and I'm going to be using it for my December 
online class and it's all featuring masculine cards, my online classes. So this is the die set. So I took this and I die cut it on Granny Apple Green. And then when you do that, you get some trees that look like this. So putting these little elements together is just oh so simple. I'm gonna add a little glue to the back of my trees. I'm gonna pop them right up here towards the top. And then I'm going to take a piece of gold foil and I'm going to punch out a moose from the moose punch. Who has the moose punch? So last year, I didn't order, I know it's, this is shocking, I did not order the moose punch right away and then by the time I wanted it, it went on back order. I am so glad that it came back this year, right? Okay, so I've got the moose out of gold foil. Then I'm gonna take some of this um, ribbon, and I can't remember, who remembers what this ribbon is called? It's got the uh, metallic edges on it, and it comes with a roll of green. It's a combo pack, I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to take this ribbon, and I'm gonna tie a bow around my moose's neck. Now, one thing when you're working with something really little like this, you wanna make sure that you give yourself enough room so that you're not fighting with it all the time, right? You could even nail this bugger down with dimensionals so that you don't have to worry about your moose moving around. Because I actually put this on to my sample as an afterthought. So I slid it underneath the dimensionals. So I'm gonna tie a little bow. Your bow is gonna be really big and rather ugly when you first tie it. I think we've all been there, right? But now you can adjust it down to the size that you want. Look at how stinking cute that is. All right, scissors. Here's my good scissors. With my big, oh, I moved this around. Hang on, here we go. These are my very sharp little scissors. Hang on, I don't wanna cut his antler off. I almost called it a horn, but I'm pretty sure it's an antler. Okay, then, I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals, not those, these, and in the pines, everybody's saying in the pines, in the pines, that's going to be my next online class. I don't know what the question was because I kind of missed it, so I'm sorry about that, but here's a couple, whoops, a couple dimensionals. These are our mini dimensionals. If you guys don't have any of these, put them on your wish list so the next time you place an order, you get some. They're just so convenient. And I'm going to take this and I'm gonna put it right over here. Isn't that cute? And you saw how simple it was, right? So before I go any further, hang tight, I'm going to grab some red rhinestones, if I can find them. Oh, here they are. Got my red rhinestones. Take your pick tool, and we're going to add some red ornaments to this tree. That's what these little rhinestones are gonna be. It's just little ornaments, got a little bit of bling bling going on here. And you can put as many as you want. You get a ton of these red rhinestones on a card, right? And do I want to put one up at the top? Maybe. Let's see. Let's put one right up at the top of our trees. I don't know. Do you like that? <laughs> there it is. Super cute. Super easy, right? Okay, let's set this aside. We're going to move on to the next one. Here comes, oh, let's do this one. Okay, here we go with, again, two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And now I took my two and a half by two and a half white piece and I put it through the wrapped in texture embossing folder. Oh, by the way, these are both called wrapped in texture. You get two in a pack with these really cool designs on them. So I'm going to add this to my little square. Just like this. I want to get it on there straight because this is going to be a piece of art. <laughs> so do it right. Okay, then you're going to take a scrap of, again, gold foil. And I've got the um, snowflake 
dye from the so many snowflakes. Now, I'm sure you guys have a lot of stuff, right? You've got snowflake dyes, you've got tree dyes. You can just grab a bunch of stuff from all the things that you have. This is how I put this together. It just is a hodgepodge of a bunch of things. Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. I die cut this on gold foil, and here's our beautiful snowflake. So I'm going to set that over here. Then I'm going to come in here with that beautiful ribbon. We've got kind of, you know, a red and gold theme going here. Red, gold, and green. That's kind of what I'm going with here. Now, on my sample that I used for my swap, I used a brown mousse, like an early espresso mousse, and that was very cool, too. But for this gift that I'm making, I want it to be all kind of red, green, and gold with a little bit of white in there. So I'm just taping this on the back. Oh, by the way, I am completely out of Amish tape. We should have a party, right? <laughs> yeah, so um, I exhausted all of my Amish tape and I had to grab a new tape dispenser because I was completely out of regular old, you know, scotch tape. So yeah, all gone, people. You don't get to hear me whine about the crummy tape anymore. All right, so I'm just gonna wrap this around here like this. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, this is all I did. Now, I'm gonna take my snowflake and I'm just gonna add some dots of glue on some of these bigger pieces don't let the glue get on the front of your foil. It is not pretty. How many of you have done that? It's so frustrating. I'm going to put this right in the middle. Here we go. Get that pressed down. Now, I was wondering if maybe I should put a red rhinestone right in the middle. Oh, I like it. What do you think? I didn't do that on my sample. So here's another one. So now we have two, and you saw how easy that was, right? Okay, then next up, we've got more, don't worry. Two, oops, hang on a second. We're gonna do this and this, and this. Okay, now this one uses I'm going to use this embossing folder called Meadow Moments. And while this is kind of like little leaves and dots over to the side, on my two and a half by two and a half inch Whisper White Square, when you run it through, it looks kind of like Christmas Ivy. That's what I thought. It looks kind of like Christmas Ivy, and I thought it was very, very pretty. So I'm just going to take that and put it on my two and five eighths by two and five eighths inch real red square. Now, another little note. Sometimes when you put something through an embossing folder, if you cut your two and a half by two and a half inch square, you put it through an embossing folder, sometimes it'll make it draw up. And then when you go to add it onto another layer, it's actually, sm the white part is smaller. And then that causes you some problems. If you find that happening, Run your piece through the embossing folder first and then cut it down to two and a half by two and a half. I've had that happen with a couple that I was working on. Okay, next up, we are going to grab, hang on, Versamark. Here comes our Versamark ink. So anyways, th this is my little layer, isn't that pretty? So now we're gonna use Versamark ink and I've got my gold embossing powder. Where's my stamp set? That would be very helpful. Here it is. Hang on. Okay, this is the ornament set, okay? And this goes with, it's called Christmas Gleaming. Christmas Gleaming. And then it's got a big ornament punch and a small ornament punch that match these. So I pulled this beast out. I haven't used this in a long time, but it's oh so gorgeous. It goes with the, um, is it called Christmas Gleaming or Brightly Gleaming Designer Series paper, by the way. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so here we go with the Versamark. And I'm going to just stamp this ornament. Close up your Versamark. And we're going to put some gold embossing powder on here. Yep, that looks good. And then we're also going to stamp the Merry Christmas from the Christmas Gleaming set, or anywhere. It doesn't matter where you're getting this from. Just as long as it's all kind of coordinating, it's going to turn out great. Usually I try to stick my, you know, showing you stuff that's like from one bundle or from one suite just because, I mean, it's more manageable, right? But this is just, I'm grabbing from all my Christmas glory. <laughs> all my glory for Christmas. Okay, then we're going to heat set this. And, uh-oh, hang on. No, I don't know where my little, oh, there it is. Oh, this shouldn't be stamped on here. This should be stamped on white. Sorry, you guys. Um, my Christmas, Merry Christmas is stamped on white. And here's what it looks like after I heat set it. And then we've got our ornament after it's heat set. And where'd that big punch go? Right here. So we're gonna punch this out. There we go. Punch that baby out. And then we need to cut this one out. And this is super easy. You're just going to leave a, I like to leave a little white margin around the outside. This is really simple to cut out. What do you guys have for I'm sitting here so much to start growling. And I did not eat supper today. But I can tell you guys what Steve has been making. Oh my Lord. He's been making breakfast burritos. I'm not a burrito girl for breakfast. I do not like to eat other food other than breakfast food for breakfast. Like no pizza for me for breakfast. And burrito would go along with that. But he takes, he scrambles eggs. He um, cooks up some sausage. He puts green pepper, not green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, onions, mushrooms all together. And then he eats it in a burrito and I eat it on a plate with a piece of toast. <laughs> but it's been delicious. Okay, so this is what we have now. And here comes our little piece. I am going to grab dimensionals. These are all the edges, and they work just great from my minis. They're nice and thick, so I'm gonna put those on here. And then, where did my mini dimensionals go? I need the little ones now. Do you guys see them? Oh, here they are. Then I'm gonna take one mini dimensional and put it on the back of the right side here. And then I'm gonna grab a mini glue dot. So anyway, Steve made that concoction this last week and I've been eating it like two to three times a day. Well, usually two times a day. It's absolutely delicious. Mini glue dot on the back of the right side. Okay, I'm gonna just set that down here. We are going to pop these off. And I'm going to add this ornament right over here to the right side. Now, I also tried just stamping it with red ink on Whisper White, and I just thought it looked richer with the um, red cardstock and the gold embossed. Then I'm going to bring this over here. And that mini glue dot is going to stick to our ornament. The dimensional is going to stick over here. And last but not least, I am going to bring in... Whoops, hang on. Things are falling on the floor. What was that? Oh, we're fine. No big deal. I am going to bring in my bow jig. I'm just going to wrap this around here. A, well, maybe just once. One time... Oh, by the way, this is the Forever Greenery ribbon. We've also got that um, ribbon with the green for Christmas and the gold in it. Do I have that? I'll show it to you in a second. I know I've got it out here someplace. Okay, so got my bow tied. And I'm going to grab a mini glue dot. Who sees them? Oh, here they are. Okay. Kathy Kessner just said, Hi, Kelly Atchison. I finally made a 
live show. Yay, Kathy! You're killing it tonight. I'm going to put my little glue dot way up there at the top of my ornament, and I am going to place this little bow right there. What do you guys think? Is that not just super cute? Now, here it is with the white on it. You could certainly do that if you don't want to do embossing. You could stamp this in red. That would be fine. So now we've got these three, right? We're, we're doing really good. Hang on, let me get a little bit of this cleaned up. Okay, so I got that one done for you. Now we're gonna do this one. And, ooh, I've got some of the gold gilded gems. Clean up a little bit of this stuff. By the way, you'll find all the dimensions and um, <laughs> ingredients <laughs> on my blog when I'm done tonight. So, not exactly when I'm done. I mean, I gotta upload videos and stuff like that. That's kind of time consuming, but it'll happen eventually. So just know that it'll be up sometime tonight. Okay, next up, again, red and white. Now, this is going to be a super duper simple one. We're not going to die cut anything. We're going to take the tree from who has this stamp set perfectly plaid. It's got a matching Christmas tree punch. This is from last year and I love this stamp set. And again, I haven't used it in a while, so I was excited to pull this out again. I've got Granny Apple Green ink and I'm just going to stamp my tree right in the middle of my Whisper White layer. This is two and a half by two and a half. And then I'm going to take some more of this twine this is the Forever Greenery, and I'm going to tie another, oh, I think I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger. We'll see if I like it or not. Yep, I think this is what I want, a little bit bigger. And here we go. Let's see. Let's see if I like that. Now yeah, that's a little bigger than I wanted. <laughs> So, do over. We're going to do a smaller bow. Here we go. Now, you can certainly just tie a bow. If you don't have one of these little gadgets, you can just tie a bow like you normally would. But I love my little gadget. Okay. And again, I'm going to take a mini glue dot and I'm going to kind of curl it up a little bit. And I'm going to add this right down here to the top of my little Christmas tree trunk. Here comes my cute little bow. Look at how cute it is. Nah. Love it. Okay, next, where did my rhinestones go? Right here. Oh, I know. I need a scrap, too. So we've got in this perfectly flat stamp set, we've got the May This Special Season Be Wrapped in Love and Joy. So I'm going to stamp that right on here. And then I'm going to cut out the love and joy. So as you're thinking about, I hope you guys will make one of these. As you're thinking about this, you can just go through and do all kinds of nifty little things. And I hope that I'm giving you like a big um, array of different options here. So I just cut, oh, hang on, it's a little crooked. I just cut this out, it's a little kitty wampus. There we go. I just cut this into a long rectangle. There we go. Meh. Hang on. I'm just gonna put this right in here. There we go. Let me get my glue mess cleaned up. Now I've got gold gilded gems. Still sticking with our gold, red, and green theme. I'm going to put a gold one at the very top of my tree. And then I'm going to come in with my little red rhinestones. And we're going to just place some ornaments on our tree. Nah. How 
How's that look? Cute, right? Okay, again, we're gonna glue this to our two and five eighths inch. Real red layer. Oops, I got that really pretty checked up. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. All right, hang on a second. Let's get this out of the way. And um, what else do we need? Put this away. All right, one, two, three, four. Now, I'm going to show you what you do with all of the things. You know, let's, let me get my mess cleaned up here a little bit. Then we're gonna make matching cards, for Pete's sakes. Okay, where'd that frame go? I set it over here, here it is. Okay, so I undid all the little, little holder deals here. Now, this particular frame happens to come with um, a fabric cover over it, okay, which is really nice. Now, if you don't like that, you could take solid colored cardstock, you could take designer series paper, you can cut it to fit this and put it over top. But for purposes of this project, I am going to just leave it like this. We're gonna see how it looks. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these little squares and we are going to arrange them and get them all set up in here and evenly spaced out. Now, I have some more here somewhere. Hang on, here they are. Okay, so from the swap that I was in, somebody made this one and isn't that oh so pretty? Yeah, very, very pretty. We'll try that right over here. We've also got this cute little Christmas tree one. And let's see, we could put that right over here. This uses the um, Heartwarming Hugs designer paper and the triangle, the stitch triangles that are, I think they're in the um, regular annual catalog. And then I'll show you some of the other ones that I got. Here is the little houses. Isn't that super cute? I love, love, love this one. The Jingle Bells. I made some projects with that. We might have to put that one in here. And then here's a sil silver Jingle Bell, also precious. Here is the, everybody calls this a deer. Maybe, maybe they're calling it a reindeer, but it's an elk. <laughs> I know my four-legged animals, that is an elk. But isn't that cool? And then we've got, for unto us, a child is born. And look at that pretty embellishment that they've got there. And then another one using that house set. So I've got these in a half of a wood case. I don't even know if we sell these anymore, but I happen to have some. And I'm keeping these because the blue colors and house ones, I think, will match something else that I'm going to make. So right now, I've got all of these on here. Now what am I gonna do? Well, earlier today, I went on Facebook and I pulled pictures off of Anna's daughters. You guys know Molly, right, with an I, and Andy. And I am going to make this one for Anna. And so I've got my white squares cut out. And if you're gonna sit down and do this, I recommend you just cut a bunch of these squares out. Nine, you know, you're gonna need at least nine. Cut these out so they're ready to roll for you. But we're gonna take two of these and I want the red and the white mat for the photo layers, okay? So we've got the red and the white there. And now I'm gonna do the red and the white here. And my stomach's growling, I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. So I love to take photos because each year when I make one of these things and Anna gets it out or Haley gets it out or Stephanie gets it out for Christmas display, 
it's kind of a walk down memory lane and that's how it is when I decorate my Christmas tree because almost all the ornaments on my Christmas tree are made with um, or are given to me as gifts. They're handmade by the kids with their photos in them or they were gifts or I picked them up while I was on vacation. So like I might have an ornament from Alaska and another one from Hawaii. Okay, so I'm gonna use these two photos. I could have used this one. I don't know, I might still change that out. But anyways, we've got Jersey, that's their new puppy they got this year. And um, Molly and Andy. And now you're just going to bring these in here and you're going to fit them in to your, these are called samplers. You're gonna fit this into your sampler and glue everything down. And then, hang on. Um, it's not glued down, so I can't really put it, oh, I don't want anything to fall out and break, but here is our framed piece of art. What do you guys think? Oh, oh my gosh, Anna is gonna love this. So, really pretty, right? I just, I think these are precious. Now, this can be hung on the wall, it can be those pearls um, what are those called those three pearl things that we have in the holiday mini catalog in there so okay oh, thank you guys so much for all so the other thing I'm thinking is Haley is big into like gold and maybe silver and gold together and just do a whole thing with silver and gold the other thing you guys can do is you could take, like you could have one, two, three, and then one here, and then make this one piece and put some birds, like um, joy or holiday or whatever in here, or maybe just a bigger picture in there and make this just one instead of two. Different that you can do with these are great for gifts for a new mom. Um, you could put some brand new baby pictures in here and, you know, do some cute little baby squares. But I, I love these. I absolutely love these. My kids love them. Like I said, this is a gift that keeps on giving. And you can see how easy these elements are to put together. This one, all we did was stamp it and cut out some words and throw some embellishments and ribbon on it. Like super duper easy. Okay, now hang tight because look how pretty that is now of course there's going to be glass over this and it's going to be a shadow box but i just love this i have a card to match now so that i have a real pretty card to give anna when i gift her the sampler okay let me put this away hang on i want to get some of this stuff out of here so i don't lose it okay so i've got whisper white thick cardstock and this is five and a half by eight and a half. Oh, I see somebody says we're breaking up. Is everybody having that problem? I hope not. By the way, I have a new router that I got, or modem. I don't know what it is. But anyways, I called my internet people. And uh, I got a new router I need to install. When I move upstairs, I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have my dimensions here so I can tell you guys what's going on. Hang on. And here we go with all our bits and pieces. So this one is going to be red. I have another green one to show you also. So we've got our five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. We're going to fold it in half. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little stamping on the inside and the little front piece. This is three and three quarters by five. And this other front piece is two and a half by three and three quarters. I'm going to grab my real red ink pad. My stomach's growing again. Maybe I should have some candy corn. 
I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I hope Bev isn't watching me. She's going to yell at me. That's not good. a good meal. Okay. We are going to use, again, I'm still using the Perfectly Plaid, this stamp set. We're going to do the Merry Christmas with Real Red Ink. And I'm going to put it right up here at the top of this red piece. It doesn't look very centered, does it? Let's try it again. That's better. Okay. Next up, we're going to take... Where did our green tree go? Hang on, i got to clean this off. Meh. Um, Tina wanted to know what my mom and Haley got. They got does. Yeah, nobody, no, Haley and my mom actually were the only two people who got deer in our whole entire group. So it was kind of pathetic. <laughs> okay. Red tree. I'm just going to stamp that tree right in the middle here. Look at how beautiful that is. Is that not gorgeous? It's just so, so pretty. And then... We're going to take, here we go. Hoping that your busy year comes together in Christmas cheer. We're gonna stamp that right here. Yay, that turned out good. And then, hang on, I think we're done with the ink now. Let me put it away and see if I got any red all over my hands because we know how that goes. Um, I've got two quarter inch by three and three quarter inch pieces of gold foil. Now remember, this is the card that I'm going to give Anna to go with the Christmas sampler. So I wanted to kind of match, right? I think I was gonna. Uh, I think I was gonna make that tree green, and I forgot. But it'll be okay because I've got a whole green one to show you. Okay, these obviously weren't cut at the right size, but they're supposed to be three and three quarters long by a quarter inch. Now, this is the way I'm just sprucing up the inside of my card because I want this, like, this is for my Anna. I want this to be pretty snazzy. And these are some really simple things that you can do that don't cost any extra money. You already have gold foil paper, and if you don't, add it to your order. You're going to want some. We have, we have um, copper, bronze, and silver, and gold. So this is the inside of our card, you guys. Is that not totally fancy pants? <laughs> I know. Okay, here we go. All right, we're done with that. Now, this gold piece is three and a half by four and three quarters. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna run it through the Settles embossing folder, which I have lost someplace here. Oh, no, nope, here it is, yay, winning. Okay, and I like to use this line right down here to line this up, because I definitely want my lines to be straight. I'm gonna run this through the big boss and then we're going to end up with something that looks like this now i had to show you guys i tried a whole bunch of different ones this is like the argyle folder i don't know what it's called but it's like argoyle Ar argoyle not gargoyle <laughs> argyle and then this is the um textile something or another you guys know what it is and then this one is that cute one that we used on this layer right here. Okay, so isn't that pretty? Don't forget about the power of using embossing folders on the foil paper because holy cow, that is spectacular. Oh, by the way, this was, um, oh, that's not it. Oh, this is wrapped in texture. Is it? No, it's not. I don't know what it is, but it's one of our embossing folders. You guys, can does somebody remember what this one is? Yeah. Okay. So, copper would be beautiful too, Melanie. I completely agree with you. Okay, so what we're going to do now 
Um, we're going to take this red piece. Now this piece I didn't even write down. So let me find out what it is. This piece is three by four and a quarter. I remember that now. Three by four and a quarter. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to punch out our Christmas tree with our Christmas tree punch right here. <laughs> yeah, I meant for this tree to be green, but you guys will get it. I have another whole green card. I want this one to be red and green. Okay, so here we go. Punch out your Christmas tree right out of the front, right? Now, I'm going to match this up on my red. There's a big border around the outside of this. You know what? If I wanted to right now, I could change that tree to green. And I think that I do, you guys. So I'm going to stamp that tree in green. And then you'll see what I'm talking about because I kind of made a boo-boo there. Get this cleaned off. Grab my, this is green, the apple green. That's the green that I chose to use here. But you certainly could have stamped that right on the front of your layer here. So just know that. Kind of wanted to carry that through. Okay, so we're gonna punch this out. There we go. Okay, we'll save that tree for something else. Eat some more candy corn. <laughs> now, we're gonna do a dry fit here. So I'm gonna lay this down. I'm gonna add some glue to my Christmas tree hole. <laughs> Window is a nicer word than hole. <laughs> my red neck is coming out pretty good. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Now we're gonna use dimensionals. I just happen to have a whole bunch of edges here that'll work perfectly. So I'm gonna put these on here. This is just going to add that little bit of dimension that's going to make your project so stinking cool. Take your pick tool. If you don't have one of these, get one. This is like the coolest, easiest, quickest way to get your backings off. And now, you're going to have to look at your edges because you want this to be even around this layer, right? But you can also just look at the tree in the middle cool it is okay <laughs> pretty excited about this and then I'm gonna add some of my gold gilded gems and we'll do one here and a little bit smaller one right there and then another like medium size one maybe right over here now we're gonna add that to this layer which is totally cool what do you guys think about these wider borders for each one of these layers isn't that kind of cool and then this oh before we do that hang on we want to make sure this sticks where is that gold here it is nope that's not it here it is Okay, now we also have, oh, this is the other ribbon I was talking about. This is the Wonder of the Season. It's got that beautiful um, shaded spruce and then some gold cording, too. But the stuff that I grabbed is the Forever Greenery. So you get this weaved and also this gold. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to leave a little, oops, a little tail Right over here and we're gonna wrap this around twice right on the edge of that red layer okay I want to keep this kind of snug there we go and we're gonna tie a bow right up here I think I'm going to tie this in a knot just so that I know it, maybe it'll stay tight. You can do that when it's um, thin enough, right? You can do this with a piece of thicker ribbon because that would never work. Okay, and it got a little sunny anyways, but we'll fix that. I'll show you a way to fix that because sometimes that's really frustrating. I don't know where it's 
Steven, so he couldn't give me a finger. <laughs> okay, so if this gets sloppy on you, what you can do is turn it over on the back, and you can just kind of do this, and take and then it's going to keep it tight on the front. But don't let your tape overrun your front of it. Like that. Oh, wait, it's fixing. And this is cute, you guys. Is this is not cute. It was like, what? I don't know. It's going to hurt. Okay, a little bit of glue. And a little bit of glue on the side, too. Losing sound, I'm so sorry. There's just nothing I can do about that. Facebook Live can be hateful sometimes. Is everybody losing sound? Sounding choppy, breaking up a lot. I'm so sorry. Okay, so there we go. And, oops, hang on, I just dropped it. Here is the little sampler. To go with our beautiful little Christmas card right and I think also what I would like to do is maybe stamp one of these trees on my envelope and then I have the North Pole delivery I think I'll stamp that in real red There we go. I just saw Kathy roll through, and I don't know which Kathy it was, but if Kathy Shaning is watching me, you need to check your emails. I emailed you, and I'm waiting for an answer on something. Okay, so here's our beautiful card and our envelope, and it matches our little square from our sampler. Now, this is the green one that I made. So this uses red. This uses green. The inside is the same except that it's green. And I've got my envelope. I, I'm gonna hand deliver this with the gift, so I put this stamp right in the middle of the front of my envelope. What do you guys think? Yay! Okay. All right, so what else do I have here? I think I have something else. Hang on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I do. Here's another one. I've got one more little square to share with you. So hang on a second, let me move these out of the way. And where'd that little square go? Right there. Okay, here's my cards. Here comes another one. And I'll put this over here. So this is again two and a half by two and a half. I'm gonna grab my memento ink. Here it is. And this time I brought out one of my favorites from last year's snowman season, right? Who has this snowman season? I love this stamp set. Okay. And I think there's a punch to match the snowman too, you guys. Isn't there? Yeah, I have that too. We're not gonna use it here. But I'm going to bring in my, oops, hang on, bring in my stamps, here comes my little snowman guy, my memento ink, boy I got a, quite a mess going here don't I, yep, and I'm going to stand up so I can make sure, oh that's got a mark on it. I'm getting this straight on here. Yay! Looks perfect. Okay. Then, as long as I have that out... Oh, we'll be doing a card in a second. Okay, so... We are going to color in our little snowman scarf with red... The red little stripes... And 
We're going to use, of course, pumpkin pie for the nose. And then I've got granny apple green for the rest of the stripes on the hat and the scarf. And then don't forget about this little tree. I'm just going to kind of outline it. Get just a little bit of green on there. And then I like to have a little bit of gray down here. And then I'm just going to color in a little bit of those stones that are on the bottom. You saw how easy I just kind of scribbled that around. All right. Now we are going to glue this on to our 2 and 5 eighths by 2 and 5 eighths inch layer and then I'm going to take some of this really pretty ribbon oh thanks Renee Renee just said the size two and five eighths by two and five eighths on the red and two and a half by two and a half on the white layer okay here's some more tape I'm just gonna tape my ribbon on the back like this and then I'm gonna take a little itty bitty well, I'm gonna make a little itty bitty knot okay so just a single knot will do I'm gonna make it nice and short because this is a tiny little element And cut this one at an angle. Cutie patootie, right? And then we also have some more wonderful gems. And these have gold, like glittery type stuff in the middle of them. So I am going to just add some of these little gems to this little square. So we're carrying through our gold. It's just looking a little different. And I think that's the fun of these squares is you can just do so many different things with them, right? So here's another little square. And then I have a card to share with you. And then I will quit taking up all your time. <laughs> so hang with me, people. <laughs> okay, here comes our card. It is the last project and I'll share my mail with you if you can stick around. Here we go. So let me get my little cheat sheet over here for my card. Okay, lots of projects tonight, right? I really miss you guys. Like, I felt so alone. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take my envelope first. And, whoops, let's get these out of the way. This is two and a half by six. This is a piece of our Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. Let me see if I can find that whole little pack. Nope, that's tis this. Here it is right here. Here it is. I love these little patterns for Christmas. Absolutely love them. They're perfect. They don't like take over the whole project. That's from our holiday mini catalog. Okay, so I'm gonna add my glue around the edge of my envelope. And then you're just gonna take this two and a half by six inch piece and put it right on here. Make sure it's up to the top nicely. And then grab your scissors and just trim right around that flap. I love decorating envelopes. And it's a good way to use up your designer series paper. Remember, a lot of this paper has a shelf life where the pattern or the colors aren't trendy anymore. And if you hang on to it forever, what you end up making is cards that are out of style. I mean, it is what it is. It's the truth. Okay, next thing I wanted to do, um, Hang on, I'm dropping stuff over here. I'm just going to put a piece of scrap, this is just a scrap of card stuck inside my envelope because I wanna decorate the envelope a little bit, but I don't want the blends that I'm gonna use. Oh, am I gonna use any blends? Yeah, one. 
I don't want the blends that I'm gonna use to bleed through to the other side. Isn't he cute? Oh my lord, he's so precious. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my pumpkin pie and color his little nose, and then maybe I'll do a little bit of some shadowing down here. Let me close this up. And eat my last candy corn. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Maybe a little bit of shadowing on my little snowman guy. There we go. Look how cute that is. Okay, that's just my envelope. Take that out of there. Oh, it didn't bleed through, so that's good. But it will bleed through with the blends, okay? All right, so there's my envelope. I've got a super duper simple card for you. Let me get my trimmer out here. This is eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna score it at four and a quarter and two and an A. Oops, I thought my paper cutter was gonna fall there. Okay, so burnish those edges good. Do that one and then we're gonna take this one and fold it back. And then I'm gonna take that heartwarming hugs. This piece is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And I'm just gonna add this over here. There we go. Love all the brightness there. Then, let's see, where's all my stamp set? <laughs> Huh. Huh. There it is. We're going to do a little Let It Snow from the Snowman Season stamp set. Right down here. Yay! Perfect, right? Then, here we go. More red. We're going to put that right in the middle. Hoping this season builds heartwarming memories. And then we're going to take those little snowflakes. Here they are. With some red ink. And I'm going to do a little snowflake right there. A little snowflake right there. Just a little bit of decoration. Okay. And then I used my largest. Here it is. My largest stitched shape circle. And then the coordinating real red scallop. And we're going to stamp our little snowman. Mm, this guy again. Remember this matches our little sampler layer. That's what this card is for. Probably going to give this one to Stephanie. Don't tell her. <laughs> okay. Um, here comes the little nose. Is everybody drinking tonight? I have my regular boring stuff. You know what I drink. Strawberry lemonade. Hi, Bernie Sadell. How are you? It's good to see you on here. I hope your Christmas plans are going well. I haven't even started, you guys. Well, I did start shopping a little bit on Amazon just for stuff that like the kids have told me they wanted. Haley made up a um, wish list for Val on Amazon, some educational toys, so that was really fun, right? <laughs> oh, don't forget this part. And then, there we go. But other than that, I haven't really shopped much. I went to the mall yesterday, or Friday, I guess. I went to the mall because I like to use Bath & Body um, hand, the hand soap, the pump hand soap, foamy stuff, and I was out, and I usually buy a ton of it. So this time I bought 12 bottles. <laughs> That was a little pricey, but, um, oh my Lord, you had to stand out in the hallway away from the store and in a line and then they give you a bag and then you have to, then I thought it was, it was my turn. So I, um, they're, they're like, you can go. So I thought I was going into the store. Nope, nope, not going into the store. You're going to go stand in another line that's closer to the store. Oh my Lord. It was so like, I was disgusted. I'm like, I'm not doing this again. Forget it. Okay, now, 
we could use the same ribbon or I'm going to use this just so you can see some variation. And this is our real red braided trim and I really like this ribbon or trim or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take this, you could tie it around this whole folded thing or you could just tie it around this little panel right here. Now you want to leave enough so that you can make a good bow. And one of the things that I like to tell people to keep your frustration level down is to make sure you pull enough off of your roll so that you're not fighting with it all the time. I think that's where we have most of our problems with trying to tie things like this. Is you're always fighting with the, with the roll or you don't pull enough off, like you don't leave yourself enough tail down here. Get yourself some tail. You don't leave yourself enough tail down there. Did I just say that? I did. So then you end up fighting with that too. Back to serious stamping. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Just going to tie a little bow there. And then we're going to snip this off. Now, I found it was easier to add my dimensionals. I'm going to bring in my circle right here. And I'm going to see where I need dimensionals. It was easier to put them right on this layer than it was to put them on the back of this, okay? So that's what I did, because I had to rip it apart and reposition it because I had it wrong. So what I like to look at when I'm putting a layer on like this is this is going right in the center of my card. I'm not paying attention to anything except centering it because that's where I want it. Okay, and then last but not least, Hang on a second, because I got something. Oh, here we go. These are those glitter star ornaments that are so stinking adorable. I'm going to take one, and you could have just looped your um, red trim through here, but I want this to be tied up a little shorter, so I just cut that off. And I am going to, whoops, ugh, hang on. Did you like that little growl? I am going to put this right under my bow and now I'm going to kind of yank it up there pretty tight and just tie it in a knot. I don't want to tie it super tight so that it doesn't like wiggle around a little bit. There we go. It's going to wiggle. Okay, I did it just the way I wanted it. Make sure you pull those little ends tight. Look at how stinking cute it is. Okay, so here's our cute little card. We have our fabulous matching envelope. And then this is one of the elements that can go. Where did my friend go? Right here. This is one of the little elements that can go in my frame. This will be my card for this one, or another one, right? Okay, so hang on just a second. I'll get this all cleared out of here. I don't want to drop this thing. I can just see that happening. It's going to be a nightmare. Get all of this out of my way. I have some really fantastic mail to share with you guys. I opened up all of my mail. Well, I opened a lot of it earlier this week and then I got some more this week so I opened up some more tonight. That's where my beautiful crown came from that I'm wearing. Holy cow. Okay, here we go. All of the stuff out of the way. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. <laughs> Can you guys can you guys relate to the mess that I get to clean up when I'm done? Yeah, it's like holy moly. Such a mess. Okay. Whew. Having a hot flash. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Heartwarming. Hugs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's that other picture of Molly. I don't know if I want to use that one or the one where she's holding the puppy. 
Oh, I hear Kyle. He wants to go outside. Not now, Kyle. I am busy with my people. Here comes, here comes our little sampler. I'll move this one. I'll put this one right up here. I think that looks really cute, doesn't it? Don't forget, I still have another one I have to make. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then, <clears throat> here is a red card. Right? And my green card. And there we go. Oh, I know, I wanted to show you this one. Hang on. So this was the um, sample that I got from the swap that I did. And then I changed it to granny apple green because I wanted to keep that color kind of consistent through here. So this is shaded spruce and that's granny apple green. Both of them are really pretty, right? Oh, and this one uses linen thread on it instead of, oh, the gold down here. I hope you guys can, am I, do we even have that in the frame? Okay, whew, I'm really hot. Okay, there we go. That's my wonderful projects. Now, if you would like to place an order, this is my um, current host code. You can head right over to my blog, www.estampabub.com and look for an online ordering button or shop with Kelly. There's a whole bunch of different links that'll take you to the same place. I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps free videos coming to you and keeps me in business. Thank you very, very much. Also, don't forget to share this video, whether you're watching now live on Facebook or later on Facebook, you can still share it. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, please click on that share button. Go up and ring the bell on YouTube so that you'll get notifications. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, head over there, look for Kelly Atchison, and subscribe yourself. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. I am going to bring in my fabulous mail. And, oops, first of all, I have to read you this note that I got with my glorious snowflake crown is that not just the cutest little headband ever I love it so I got this from this is from Lynn Elmore I want to make sure I said your last name right look at this beautiful card this beautiful fall card oh did I not finish the scarf Oh, thank you. I didn't finish the scarf. Thank you very much because I don't know if I would have noticed that. Thank you. I will set that aside so I remember to do that. <laughs> but this is the beautiful card that Lynn sent me. It says, um, it's a Thanksgiving. May the season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. She said, this is for you. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And then here's what my little crown came in. It says, every time I see a tiara, it reminds me of you. You are it, girl. Love you always, Lynn. P.S. I'll always be your underline. <laughs> this is your snow tiara. So thank you so much, Lynn. I absolutely love it. And it, it fits really nice. It doesn't pinch my head. So that's awesome. All right, next up. We have this beautiful card. This came from Jessica Schnorr. She is one of my team members, and look at how beautiful that is. That's what that dove set. So, so pretty. Merry Christmas to you and your family. And then we have this beautiful card. This is from Jamie Lindsay. She's also one of my team members. Isn't that pretty with the poinsettias? Ah, oh. And just look at how different this looks. She used it, she embossed it on um, vellum, cardstock. This one's done on the red velvet paper. Very, very pretty. And let's see. Jamie says, have a wonderful holiday season. Thanks again for all you do for your team. Looking forward to the new year and seeing your new office space. Me too, Jamie. So Steve is going to help me put the 
um, shelves together tomorrow. And I went out and talked to him in the garage today. And I said, he goes, you were putting those shelves together by yourself, weren't you? And I'm like, uh, no, I was scrubbing and I didn't scrub. I just washed it the floor, but I told him scrubbing. <laughs> Do you want to make it sound just as dramatic as possible? I was scrubbing the floor and he's like, oh, because he thought I was trying to put the shelving unit together. And I certainly am capable of putting a shelving unit together, but I wasn't putting it together because we might have to take it back. It might just be too substantial. Like, it's super heavy. Like, me and Steve had a heck of a time getting it upstairs. Look at how cool this is. This is from Trisha McMaster. Look at my little bookmark. Isn't that cool? With the moose. Yeah. So, her moose is stamped and punched. And my moose is just punched. So, look how cool that is. There's a whole stamp set goes with the moose. Okay, and it's got a little pocket right there, and it says Merry Christmas, and it says may your holidays be wrapped in happiness and trimmed with the love of family and friends. It says thank you for encouraging me to decorate my envelopes, too. They sure add a lot to my cards, and let's see that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it really does. It just, it makes me happy. As long as we have this stuff, why not go all out? This one is from... Cindy, oh, now hang on, because she told me, what a sack. She told me how to say her last name. Isn't this pretty? Partridge in a pear tree. This is from the Arranger Wreath. I do have a, I think I have one more kit left of pre-cut cardstock pack for the Arranger Wreath class. So if, if anybody has that bundle and you would like to get, I think there's nine cards in there. I can't remember all the details, but it's on my blog on the right-hand column is a um, online class button. You'll see, arrange your wreath. I think I have one packet left in that one. But Cynthia says, thank you for your lives and especially during the shutdown. You are so giving and I appreciate you. I pray your family will have a very Merry Christmas and a blessed 2021. And then she said, she put Wada Sec. That's how you say her last name. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Your card is beautiful and thank you for the Christmas wishes and a wishes for a new year. We're all ready. Who's ready for a new year? Oh my Lord, right? Way overdue. <laughs> this one is from Betty Thorne and holy cow, this is the um, uh, In the Pines, right? This is the In the Pines. Now remember, I have an online class coming up and as soon as I get my PayPal fixed, I'll be putting it out there for you guys to click and order it. But I gotta talk to PayPal tomorrow. If you missed that, it was at the very beginning of tonight and they're just jacking me around. Um, but you know, it's typical. PayPal's been pretty good. Usually it's Facebook, but somebody's always messing with me. <laughs> Isn't this gorgeous? I love the blue foil and these trees are just spectacular. Betty says, even though this is not our typical holiday season, we must always remember the magic of the holidays never ends and it's greatest of gifts are family and friends and isn't that so true right i am totally with you betty thank you so much for your beautiful card look how cool this one is my goodness this is from peggy williams she says thanks for the merry hello stamp set it's so cute i enjoy all your lives and the cards you make give me inspiration thank you peggy this is just super sweet i love that plaid paper right you betcha and then we have, ooh, this is pretty. This is from one of my team members, Wendy Sue Winter. Look at how cool this says, you guys. Love you more than, it's got a window sheet there. Ah, oh, love you more than, oh, hang on, I gotta figure out. There we go, cocktails. Thanks for the awesome onstage package and for buying the best or for being the best upline a girl could ask for. Wendy, thank you. Wendy is one of my team members. I adore her. Isn't that pretty? Love this. Speaking of cocktails, we went out last night and we went to a supper club. If you guys don't have supper clubs where you live, it's kind of a Midwest thing. Um, if you ever get to the Midwest, go to a supper club. The dining experience, the food is just amazing. We went to a supper club last night, the Red Ox in Appleton, and I had myself an old-fashioned Southern Comfort Sweet with Olives. It was delightful. <laughs> it 
This is from Jamie Lency. Jamie is one of my team members. Oh, she sent me the um, Thanksgiving card too. And she's saying, thanks. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Thanks so much for the snowflake ribbon. I guess I missed my name being called from the meeting. This was for our team meeting. I was surprised. Funny thing, I had ordered the ribbon a while back and misplaced it. I was going to reorder more and surprise it's here. Thanks so much. Appreciate all you do for all of your team members. Keep up the great lives. Your friend, Jamie. Isn't that pretty? I love this. This is just very simple, but it's very, like, elegant. I absolutely love that. Next up. Oh, my gosh. This is a great one, you guys. This one comes with a little story. So, this one is from Ed Walker. Okay? I'm going to show you Ed's card first. Here we go. We open up one at a time. Oops, hang on. There we go. Oh, there's Velcro on it too. Little piece of Velcro. Wishing you a bright and beautiful Christmas. More little Velcro. And a new year that shines with happiness. And another one. Look at all those jewels on that tree. We got little elves. No peeking. How fun is this, you guys? Little Velcro closures for all of them. So, little story behind this. And I was, um, it's very endearing. It says, Kelly, I watch your show on Sunday nights with my wife, Cheryl. Several months ago, I thought of a fun fold reveal card, and she encouraged me to go ahead and make it. So I did. You start at the top, then work your way down. Congratulations on your million dollars in sales. God bless you and your family, Ed Walker. Ed, you rocked my day. This is awesome. I think Ed should do some more fun folds. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? I love it. And then the tree. That, this is very creative, Ed. Very creative. I would say that uh, Cheryl is a very lucky woman. What do you guys think? <laughs> I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Next up. We're almost done, you guys. This is from Debbie Foster. Debbie's on my team also. Isn't this beautiful? I just love this. It's so pretty. Uh, you are the happy to my day. And Debbie says, I wanted to send you a card that I made using the stamp set I won from your team meeting a couple months ago. And Debbie had shoulder surgery, so she was a little delayed. But I love your card, and I'm so glad you waited till you were feeling better. Thank you so much for the stamp set. I love it. Um, she says, P.S. I love being on your team and would love to meet you in person one day. Dina and Barb, too. Maybe one day. Debbie, Stampin' Up! is going to have an event. And it's going to be close to you at some point. And I hope you can come to it. Because I would adore meeting you, too. I can't wait till Stampin' Up! has another in-person event. So I can meet some of my team members I've never met in person. Now. That's not to say that I haven't met them because we do Zoom. I do Zoom for my team. Well, first of all, I do Zoom every Tuesday morning at 10.30 a.m. We do a question and answer Facebook Live for my team members when they have questions about stuff. Um, number two, I do team training every Wednesday at 3 p.m. through Zoom with Barb and Dina. So we all do it together, and that's really fun. And then... Um, a team meeting once a month where I do Zoom with everybody also. So I do get to know all of these people. It's a very kind of an intimate connection through Zoom. But I can't wait to meet in person either. That'll be, that'll just make my whole year. This is from Luba Ballas. Luba, I'm sure I'm just messing your name up horribly. But this was a Thanksgiving card. And remember, I was gone. I've been gone since before Thanksgiving. It says, thankful for you. Thank you so much, Luba. This is so pretty. Look how pretty that is, right? Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous card. And I think this is the last one, you guys. Look at how cute this is. This is a plant kindness harvest love. And this is from Donna Johns. Wishing you and yours a great, a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> Love watching and listening to you. You brighten my days. And thank you so much. You are so sweet. And funny little story, Donna Johns. 
I have two people on my team. Donna's on my team. I have two people on my team with the same exact name. Isn't that crazy? I know. What are the chances of that? Anywho, you guys, thank you guys so much for the cards. You just don't even know how much I appreciate you and enjoy you. And I really missed everybody. Like, I was getting, like, um, withdrawals. It's like, oh, I can't wait to see all my friends tonight from my Facebook Live. Oh, there. here's my other... So there's no rhyme or reason as to where you put these pictures, just wherever you feel they're going to look the best. You could also do one, one of these squares with the year in it, maybe. But I usually write that on the back of the, you know, inside of the frame. But isn't that cool? I'll show you guys one more, too. This was made by one of my team members, Jody Peterson. Look at how stinking adorable that is. And see how she used this part? Oh, it's the same frame. She used this part to be one long panel and then all the smaller panels. And she gave this to me when I hit my million. Isn't that sweet? I love it. It's going to look beautiful in my new office too. Ha! Yeah, yeah. A lot of thought went into that and it has not gone unnoticed, believe me. So make some gifts. You can make small gifts. Um, one of the things that I really think is cool is you can take any card front any card front and get yourself just a little frame and you can frame it and give that as a gift with a matching card like just for somebody to put out during Christmas or set on their desk at work it's a very inexpensive way to make a gift and know that it's heartfelt because it's homemade so yeah um don't forget to finish the snowman scarf Francie oh yeah <laughs> thank you I put it right back in there didn't I Whew. Thank you guys so much. You're always looking out for me, and I just so appreciate that. All right. Um, did I miss any questions? I'm able to kind of look at them. Oh, good. Somebody just said they're going to make one for sure. That makes me happy. I, I love making gifts with all of my stuff, right? And like I heard from my Anna last year, she said that the homemade paper craft gifts that I have made for her is her favorite Christmas decorations. And like I said, I was like, really? I, and I go, really? She's like, yeah, really. She loves getting those out every year. So um, I'm just looking at comments here, you guys. I don't even know what time it is. Um, I need to get a clock because <laughs> my phone is up here recording my, oh, I guess I could, I could actually, open up my computer for my, I shut that down so my internet wouldn't be all stupid. Oh my god, it's almost nine o'clock. I am so sorry. We had a lot to do tonight, didn't we? I hope you guys had fun. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, what time? Do, we don't know. We don't know what time the closeout sale starts. Somebody else had that question but never got an answer. So we're not really sure. A lot of times these sales start at like 3 a.m. Mountain Time, but I don't know. So I'm really sorry that I can't tell you that. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Debbie says it's 9.46 Eastern time. It's 8.46 here. You guys need to go to bed. I need to go eat something besides candy corn, honestly. <laughs> but I'm grateful for it. I still have nothing left. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Um, I will be giving you guys updates on my new stamp studio. And Bobby says she makes a shadow box refill for her daughter every year. That's a really good idea. Um, I will be giving you some updates on my stamp studio. I am hoping to get moved up there this week and live in it a little while before I start buying a bunch of new pieces of furniture and stuff like that, right? I don't know what, if I want this table, if I want a new table, I don't even know. But we'll have to see where we're at. And you know, All the things are expensive and it's Christmas. <laughs> Place some orders. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. You should really order. But um, anyways, I'll let you guys go. And you guys have a wonderful week. Watch for, I've got some things happening on my blog this week. I don't even know what they are right now. I'm so hungry I can't even think anymore. <laughs> not really. Bye, you guys. Have a great week.
If you're still there. Oh, there we go. I couldn't get my phone to shut off. Close.